Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime, and once again I've been asked to factor a polynomial. Directions say factor the polynomial below. Now, factoring polynomials is a super useful skill. You need it for college algebra class. I'll, I'm even going to do some videos on it. Um, but for my GED students, I usually teach uh, a cheat method that's a little simpler. So I'm looking at the cheat method today, and this is what works for multiple choice questions. Basically, instead of factoring, I do the opposite of factoring, which is multiplying. Um, and so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to multiply out these expressions in here and see which one of them actually simplifies uh, to be uh, this question up here that I had. So let's take a look. Again, remember, this is known as what's known as multiplying binomials. So if you don't have the skill of multiplying binomials, you're going to feel super lost. So that's the skill you need before we, uh, you could do a problem like this. But I'm going to multiply these binomials. 2x times x, first term times first term, gives me 2x squared. Okay. 2x times positive 7 would give me positive 14x. Negative 3 times x would give me negative 3x. And negative 3 times positive 7 would give me negative 21. Do remember that you've just multiplied, but order of operations says that after our multiplication division, we should do any addition or subtraction. So um, in algebra class, we refer to that addition and subtraction that we do as combining like terms, because we know we can only add and subtract the same kinds of terms. And so I can see my two middle terms are like, so they'll combine. So I'll just drop my first term, 2x squared. But I'll combine these. If I have positive 14x and I take away 3x's, I'll end up with just positive 11x's. And then I have my minus 21. And look at that. Very first expression I found actually matches this one here. And so I'm guessing A is the correct answer. Now, if it were me, y'all make mistakes with signs all the time. So if it were me, I would just check one or two more just to make sure. Okay, so let's try C, okay? I'm going to go ahead and multiply through C and make sure it doesn't also give me the same thing. So again, I'll start with my first term, 2x, and I'll multiply it by every term in the second parentheses. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. Now I'll take my next term, positive 7, and multiply it through to every term in the second parentheses. So positive 7 times x is positive 7x. And positive 7 times negative 3 is negative 21. And here, again, I get the 2x squared, and I get the negative 21, but this time my two middle terms combine. Uh, negative 6x plus 7x is just positive 1x, or, you know, we write that as positive x. We don't brag when there's a coefficient of 1. Okay, so 2x squared plus x minus 21, and I can see that this one did not uh, simplify the way that I had hoped. And so uh, this one could not be the right answer. So um, that's the idea there. Um, so I am fairly certain that A is the right answer here because I multiplied it through. You could certainly multiply through and check the others. Uh, and that would be a good thing to do, especially if you have enough time on your test because you guys make sign errors a lot. So let's just check B. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 7 is negative 14x. Uh, positive 3 times x is positive 3x. Positive 3 times negative 7 is negative 21. Now I do get my 2x squared. And I do get my negative 21, but look at my middle term this time. Negative 14x plus 3x. I'm more in the negative, so I'm going to end up with negative 11x. And I can see here I had positive 11x. And just that itty bitty little difference means it was not the correct um, a factored expression. And so really important that you are good with negatives as you do these problems here. Okay, that's another prerequisite skill, being able to add and subtract positive and negative numbers and being able to multiply and divide them. So couldn't be B. And let's just check out C, D. Uh, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times positive 3 is positive 6x. Negative 7 plus x is negative 7x. 
and negative 7 times positive 3 is negative 21. So 2x squared, I'm going to combine my middle terms, positive 6x and a negative 7x give me a negative 1x, and again I don't usually write a 1 coefficient, and a negative 21, and again I see I do not have a perfect match, and so it can't be that. And so I was right, A was the correct answer because A was the only one that simplified to be this polynomial up above. Okay, great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.